Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video We are gonna be finding out if you can kill Micah Bell early before the final mission of the game and the ending of the epilogue So a couple of days ago, I got a message on my Facebook page from Chansey Who basically sent me a message that said did you know that you can kill Micah Bell early? And they sent me this photo right here. And it wasn't even like a screenshot from their console. They just pulled out their phone and they took a photo. And you can clearly see that that's Mike on the ground and Arthur in a very fancy outfit standing over him. So I was like, what the heck? Did I miss a mission? Is there a secret ending that I don't know about? And so I asked him how the heck he ultimately did this. And he basically said he had just completed the coach robbery with Micah in chapter two. And before he starts to come back to camp, he, uh, he was seen riding on the road, and so he threw dynamite at him and ran him over. He said it wasn't too sure if it was a glitch or if he was out in the world or whatever. Now, he said it doesn't have any effect on the rest of the story, clearly. You just lose honor. However, it is nice because you can actually pick up his revolver. Now, in case you guys don't know, you can get Micah's revolver, but only by the end of the game as John Marston. And Micah's revolver is probably the best one in the game. It does like the most damage, has really quick recoil. Uh, it looks tremendously cool if you've never seen it. It has like this red, like cool engraving pattern on there. Uh, it's got some writing on the barrel. So it is worth it in order to try this. And I was like, okay, I've got to see if I could do this for myself. So the two missions that I wanted to try this in to see if I could get something like this done uh, both occur in chapter two. The first is Blessed Are the Meek, when you actually break Micah out of jail. And long story short, in case you guys don't know, you have to break Micah out of jail in Strawberry. It leads to a massive firefight. And from there, he basically explains what was happening. You ride off a little bit. And uh, what happens after that is you have a cutscene. And I was hoping that after that cutscene, I would be able to find Micah like he would be on the road and I could kill him and that would be the end of it now I wasn't too sure what to expect and this is what occurred after that first cutscene I think we finally lost him well, I hope so I'm giving you a holster my way of saying thank you and thank you there I was having a dull day only for you to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! That's a strong looking Steve. So that was interesting, right? Micah literally just disappears. Even though during the cutscene, he's only riding away on his horse for a few seconds, he literally vanishes. So I don't know why Rockstar did that. Did they do that to prevent people like myself from killing Micah and antagonizing him? I was expecting him to ride away and us to be able to hopefully catch up to him, but that was not the case. However, this did allow us to eventually trigger another mission with Micah that happens way later on in Chapter 2. And this is actually when you visit Micah at his hermit camp, sort of close to Strawberry. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, playing like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. 
trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Whoa! <sighs> they should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah! And this is actually the mission that Chansey mentioned to me on Facebook. It's the coach robbery mission where this is where, like, Micah and Arthur rob a coach and they're going to ultimately make it up to Dutch. So I was very hopeful that this time after the cutscene, Micah would still be there. Or at least that I would be able to find him on the road. And I had prepped myself for this. I had gone to the fence. I had bought some fire bottles. I had bought some dynamite. I was ready to try and generate this same encounter that Chansey sent me. So I was hopeful and I was optimistic that after this cutscene right here, Micah would be available to catch. And this is what happened. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Hey there, girl. So again, the same thing occurred. Micah Bell literally disappeared and vanished out of thin air. So I was getting kind of frustrated here. So I went back to the message that Chansey sent me, and he said he found him on the road before coming back to camp. So that's what I immediately did. I headed back to camp, or at least I headed back to the road close to camp, but I could not find Micah at all. He just simply wasn't there. So when I went into camp as well, he wasn't there either. So was he just taking a long time to eventually get back to camp and get back to the area? It was very, very confusing. So I eventually kind of gave up and I slept for like three hours just to sort of let time pass a little bit. And I was hopeful that maybe I would be able to trigger him on the road. But as soon as I woke up, guess who was sitting by the fire? Good old Micah Bell. So he made it back to camp. I didn't have the opportunity to kill him. So long story short, what happened with this situation, I can only assume that it was a glitch. Because obviously, if you play out the rest of the story, not only is Micah Bell needed for the ending of the main story and the ending of the epilogue, but he also appears in a ton of missions after chapter two as well. So clearly killing him would not like trigger some secret ending where the cutscenes would roll immediately afterwards. But it is interesting that you were able to find them and you were able to get his revolver too, which again is one of the best weapons in the game that you can literally get like five or six chapters early. So that's pretty awesome right there. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Maybe you can try this out for yourself. If you have a save that's close or near chapter two, definitely try this out for yourself and let me know if you had any more luck than I did or if you ran into the same issue that I occurred in. Uh, that Micah would just disappear after the mission and that he couldn't be found afterwards. And by the way, the person who sent me this mission, uh, Chansey, this was like a couple of days ago. So it's not like this happened like way back in 2018 when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. It's on the latest version of the game. So you can let me know in the comments down below or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page as well. 
And if you want to send me any more mysteries or secrets or experiments to try out, uh, you can send me a message, photo, or video over there. But anyways, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.